All right, it is now time for our NFL predictions. Once again, hard to believe, already week number five in the NFL. And I will give a little recap of last week, Lisa's scores. Brady won the week with nine, and he needed it. Ethan had eight points. I had six. And so going into week number five, Brady's at 33. I'm at 38, and Ethan's at 40. So it's getting closer. Brady definitely needed uh, to uh, to win the week, and he did. So we're going to go on to week number five. We'll make a prediction starting out with Thursday night's game. Tonight's game, the red-hot Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 3-1, and one, uh, heading to Atlanta. They're taking out Atlanta's 2-2. Two and two. Atlanta's better than that record. Um, they've won some good games, and they beat some good teams, almost beating Kansas City. Uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be could be a close one. This could be the game of the week. Ethan went with Tampa Bay. Brady and I both take the home team Falcons, which is interesting because I would say definitely the, the Bucks are the favorite. So Ethan will get the double points. That's how we uh, work it. If uh, Tampa Bay wins, so Ethan because he's unopposed. Uh, Brady and I both take the Falcons. If we if the Falcons win, we each get a point. If um, Bucks win, he gets two points. Then moving on to Sunday's game, you get the New York Jets. They're 2-2, two and two, taking on the uh, top team, probably the NFL right now. Well, maybe not besides the Chiefs. The top team in the NFC, the Minnesota Vikings. In several weeks, I I, I, I went against I went against Minnesota, I believe, against when they played Houston. I think I went against them against Green Bay. They keep winning. And so Ethan, Brady, and I all have them beating Aaron Rodgers' Jets. I think this game is in London. It'll be Sunday morning. Um, I think Minnesota should win. We'll see what happens. Probably the uh, the crap game of the week. You got Carolina. They're one and three against Chicago, which is actually two and two, and we all got Chicago in this one as well. Chicago's definitely better. Uh, Carolina had a big win a couple weeks ago. Then they lost to the winless Bengals. Carolina's. I think they're just the worst. I mean, I don't know. Who knows? But anyway, we all got the Bears there. Speaking of the Bengals, they're going to be hosting Baltimore. We all got Baltimore there. I wish the Bengals were better. Um, maybe they'll turn it around, but, um, Baltimore started to win, beat the Cowboys. They won last week, big time against Buffalo. Baltimore wins this one for sure in Cincinnati. We all have Baltimore. Miami's is one of the sad stories of the year. Tua out, a lot of injuries. They're just bad. Brady took them and Ethan and I both have the, uh, the home team Patriots. They're not much better. And I don't know if they have the excuse of, of a lot of injuries. I wish Miami was better. They're really not, but. I got New England. Ethan's got New England. Brady has Miami. I think that either team, either one of these guys could win. Probably the surprise of the year. The Washington Commanders and their rookie quarterback uh, looking really good. They're going to be uh, in Washington. Uh, they're taking on the Browns, who, who don't look good. Watson's not any better. Chubb, he's practicing now is what we hear. He's supposed to be practicing. Um but he, I don't think he'll be playing Sunday or in this Sunday. But anyway, we all have Washington. Once again, I said the surprise of the year, Washington Commanders. The Browns could win this. I just don't know. The Browns don't look good. We all have Washington. We're split again on the Indy-Jacksonville game. Jacksonville is winless. They're 0-4. They've been competitive, though, in some of the games, so I don't think they're as bad as their record. Indy beat Pittsburgh, which was great. They're not. They're 2-2. Two two. They're not great. Brady went with the home team home team Jaguars getting the win. I also heard a rumor earlier in the week, and that's probably not true, but they're already tying Belichick to Jacksonville if they don't start winning. You know, maybe not this year, but next year. Uh so Ethan and I both have Indy. That's our that's our AFC team. And uh Brady's got Jacksonville winning this one. Buffalo, they lost. They uh got embarrassed by uh by Baltimore. This could also be the game of the week. I mentioned Tampa Bay and Atlanta, but these two teams are, are good. Bu uh, Buffalo is still 3-1. and one. Houston's 3-1. and one. Ethan and I both have the home team Texans, like Stroud. Like, uh, is, they're exciting to watch. I'm excited for Houston. Not a, I'm not a Texans fan, but I am rooting for C.J. Stroud being a, a Buckeye fan. Brady's got bu uh, Buffalo. Ethan and I both took the Texans in this one. Also, uh, Got to go on to the, the next game, the 2-2 two two Vegas Raiders. Taking on the 2-2 two two Denver Broncos. Bo Nix and the Broncos surprised me. They won again last week. Uh, this is going to be a close one, I think. I've got Las Vegas. Both Ethan and Brady both have the Broncos. Uh, either one, I think these are, they're pretty closely matched up. Heard Adams, they're, they're trying to shop 
Adams away and, and trade him away. Uh, hope I don't know. I have I've had Adams on my fantasy team, still do, but you know he's yeah, maybe his better days are behind him. Atlanta and San Francisco, or not Atlanta? Excuse me, Arizona and San Francisco. After the first week or so, I thought, man, Arizona is going to be good. Of course, they got Marvin Harrison, who is who is outstanding, but they're not really good. They're one they're one in three. The Niners are banged up, which is fine with me because I can't stand the Niners. But we all have San Francisco this week beating Arizona. Green Bay, uh, I mentioned last week Willis was going to continue playing, but Love was back, and I didn't realize that when I recorded it. Love had a huge week. Willis did good while Love was gone. Jordan Jordan Love, though, back and had a big week. Ethan and I both have Green, Green Bay, and Brady went ahead and went with the underdog Rams. Now, the Rams are home. They're in L.A. Brady is hoping for those double points there. I don't, I don't see the Rams winning this. I think Green Bay wins easily. Ethan and I both have Green Bay. The Sunday night game was, should be good. Our Cowboys. Ethan, Brady and I both have the Cowboys. Uh, we all like the Cowboys. But of course, Brady's favorite team is, is Baltimore. Ethan and I both love the Cowboys first. But Ethan went with Pittsburgh. They are in Pittsburgh. You know, I actually looked at, at getting at tickets. We live in Ohio, and I thought, thought about going to a Browns game. They're going to be, uh, the Cowboys were in town early in the year, and I thought, that would be a great game. But we had a, another event we could not go that day. And I said, you know what? What would be a great game? A Sunday night, Cowboys at Pittsburgh. be great. I've always heard Pittsburgh would be a fun, fun stadium. Standing room only, the tickets I looked at, for standing room only, which I would not ever pay just to stand, was 275 bucks. Now, that was just a couple weeks ago. That was just that was just tickets. That wasn't um any um uh you know, that wasn't any secondhand tickets or anything. Um, I can't believe it. There's no way. <laughs> There's no, I wouldn't pay anything to stand uh, unless it's a Super Bowl. I don't think I would do that. But I surely wouldn't pay two hundred and seventy five dollars probably even to sit being at the Super Bowl. I don't know, who knows? And then the Monday night game, New Orleans two and two, Kansas City still four and oh. We all have Kansas City in this one. And as you see, Denver or Detroit, Tennessee, Philly, Chargers all getting to buy the first week with buys. Week five of the NFL. We'll see where our points are at after this week. Enjoy the games.